Okay, this is dealing with polynomials, canceling and, and factoring, and how to simplify this product down into either a monomial or a fraction in its lowest terms. Now, for this one, it's kind of tricky because everything looks very similar, right? This looks a lot like that, and this looks a lot like that, and so we're very tempted to think, well, we can just cancel everything from the get-go and be done. But what we have to do is actually rewrite these problems a little bit so that we can see what we're dealing with, because eight mi x minus 8 and 8 minus x are not going to be the same number, right? And you can prove that to yourself by um, assigning a number to x and, and just checking, right? And let's say x was 2. That would make this 2 minus 8 and this 8 minus 2. This is negative 6 and that's positive 6, which are obviously not the same number. So we're not dealing with something we can just cancel, but we can simplify this into something that does cancel. And I'm going to start by writing each of these expressions with the x term first. So I leave the numerators alone for right now and let's rewrite these denominators with the x at the beginning. Um, and basically, I'm just switching them around, right? The 8 is positive and the x is negative because it's subtracted, so I just switch them around. Now, I notice at this point that I can rewrite this as negative x minus 4, right? If I were to do the distributive property here, negative x and then the negative and the negative would make that a plus so I'd end up with negative x plus 4 so I'm gonna rewrite this expression with the negative on the outside that's called factoring out a negative 1 and what that does for me is gives me something that will cancel with this x minus 4 up there so I like the way this is going turns out I can do the same thing over here with the negative x plus 8 this is the same thing as negative x minus 8. Since this guy cancels with that guy and this guy cancels with that guy, I'm actually left with 1 over negative 1 times negative 1. Since a negative times a negative makes a positive, this is actually 1 over 1 or just 1 is the answer here.